Good evening and welcome to the first ever State of Inspiritus. Thank you for joining us and thank you to the many supporters who are gathering with us tonight who've made an investment in this cause over the many years. I'm John Moeller. I'm the president and CEO of Inspiritus and I'm your host for this evening. Tonight, Inspiritus will be taking you on a journey, an odyssey that we've been on for every day for the last 18 months. Is an odyssey to become a better, more nimble and capable companion to those that we accompany who are wrestling with the most powerful storms of life. Storms that stop you dead. Storms that cause you to be shriveled, to languish and to cling to life. In each and every case, entire families and whole communities suffer the effects and are diminished. Tonight, you'll hear their stories, but each story each of their stories begins with a tremendous and life-transforming disruption. These are their disruptions. More than 30 million Americans across the South face the threat of severe weather tonight. A tornado outbreak across several states as we come on the air. The National Weather Service warning tonight of a particularly dangerous situation in at least four states already. The outbreak turning deadlier. At least nine fatalities and more than 30 confirmed cases of the coronavirus. Overnight, Taliban leaders are claiming they have taken control of the Panjshir province. There is an urgent need for more foster parents across the state with the pandemic dramatically slashing interest. Since the pandemic started, we're seeing child abuse reports going up as well. This morning, an urgent search for the missing after at least two devastating tornadoes in Tennessee claimed the lives of at least 25 people. Millions of Americans who lost part or all of their income due to the coronavirus pandemic are facing eviction. Hunger in America, especially for children, has soared to historic levels. The chaos in Afghanistan as U.S. troops head back into the country to secure Kabul's main airport after thousands flooded the airport in a desperate attempt to flee the Taliban. At the end of my four months here, I will be back in the same position I was in June, looking for a permanent accessible house. What are the odds of you finding a permanent accessible house? I would say one in a million. These are indeed the stories of Inspiritus. They're stories of pain and suffering, loss and deprivation, all of which we've been responding to over the last 18 months. Some of these stories are super fresh. In fact, as we respond to the urgent crisis in Afghanistan. Against this backdrop, Inspiritus goes to work, joining people where they are, sitting with them, uh, setting them on a new path to stability, health, and empowering them to overcome difficult odds and return to their rightful place in the community and in society. While their journeys are hard, Inspiritus helps them to tap into their inner strength and resilience. We've come to realize that what they really need is not a handout, not a, even a hand up. What they need is a guide, someone who will come alongside without judgment, who knows the road ahead, and who skillfully can direct their path and journey with them. While Inspiritus embraces all and welcomes all, as an organization uh, started by people of faith, we're reminded of the scripture passage from Matthew 5, 41 that says, if anyone wishes you to go with him one mile, go with him two miles. My faith urges me to join others as they toil. When we join with those at Inspiritus, we experience with them their triumph over tragedy. Their stories tonight promise to inspire. In fact, it's their stories, and their stories are the reason that we call ourselves Inspiritus. You see, Inspiritus means to fill with courage, to fill with strength of purpose, to fill with the Spirit. Tonight, we hope you'll get to feel and to sense their grit, determination, and thanks in part to Inspiritus, where they're headed. And finally, how your presence can be felt. You'll also learn some of the secrets that have enabled Inspiritus to become an excellent guide to each program participant. You see, like our program participants, Inspiritus has had to adapt to operate in an environment that's challenging, unstable, ever-changing, and even hostile at times. 
Like our program participants, we've had to harness our strengths and hone our resilience to navigate through a pandemic, economic uncertainty, a racism, political strife, a sea change in government funding priorities, escalating climactic weather events, global events like the most recent events in Afghanistan. But through it all, like our program participants, we've emerged stronger, more capable, and with a brighter road ahead.